What up citizens and welcome back to another beautiful evening in La La Land. So today what we have aligned for you guys is kind of a new rollout segment to what we're going to be doing. It's called story time. Yay, story time. Get excited, get excited because it's going down. Um, and today story time and like really like get to know us on a little bit more of an intimate level yeah and we'll just have different topics and what we could do to kick this off is if you guys have something that you want to know about us that you'd like us to do on the next story time leave it in the comments and yeah we'll pick that. And Ab we'll pick somebody. absolutely if you guys want to hear more about us in a personal realm and like you know if it's how we met you know so on so forth whatever. like whatever Anything. let us know drop in the comment box below and tell us everything that you want to know about us and we'll do just different story time segments and we'll just keep picking different things that you guys are curious about absolutely um but we're gonna start it off with why we joined youtube right yes absolutely like i i feel like a lot of people ask ask me that question like if we're out vlogging like look oh my gosh the thirst is real if we're out vlogging and we i mean we vlog like pretty much everywhere we go at this point. It's one of those things where everybody's like, YouTube, YouTube, like what are you guys doing? Like why are you on YouTube? Um, and people really don't understand the platform and what YouTube is. And so tonight we're gonna speak about why we got on YouTube, uh, our reasonings behind it, and you know, I think maybe this will bring more perspective, even for you guys as viewers watching you know, our content and watching our life, essentially. So do you wanna kick it off or you want me to kick it off? Why don't you kick it off? <laughs> Gotcha, I'll kick it off. So, as you guys know, citizens out there, uh, we literally have been on YouTube on and off for about two years. Um, and it's one of those things to where I remember being at work, and I'm trying to start it off with that. I remember being at work, and one of my friends sent me a video. And it was, the video went viral. It was actually of, if, I, if I'm gonna plug them, it was Timothy De La Ghetto, was the first like video that I've ever seen on YouTube. And you know, I, I, it was like a nine to five cubby office desk, and it was real stuffy, you know, everybody's wearing suits and ties, and so they send me this video, this, this sweet girl that you, worked next to me at the, at the time, sent me this video, and she was like, yo, man, this video's so funny, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, I click on the link that she sent it and, you know, I opened up a world of something I had no idea existed. Um, it was life. Like, when I say life, like life in its, like, purest form. I'm talking about, like, there's no, you know, there's no scripts, there's no casting directors. It's people literally living. And that is when I fell down the rabbit hole of what is YouTube like I started discovering people different countries different states different cities you know travel you know fashion everything I was like wow like this is so cool and it inspired me it inspired me to tell our stories and 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 essentially leave our mark because the funny thing is Veronica and I have been together for a very very long time very very long time that's another story time that's another story time we've been together for a very long time and the funny thing is i feel like the longer we're together and the older we get and as time goes by some of the best memories we have just they're just memories it's almost like they didn't even exist like we have been through so much together in life we have been through ups we've been through downs you know we've moved we've traveled you know we we started this journey of seeing the world and you know, pictures say nothing. Like, pictures say nothing. You know, we experience so much in life. And we wanted to, was my, you know, initial reaction on getting into YouTube and, and discovering these new videos, is I kind of want to document my life. Like, I want to be able to be a, a hundred year old man, and I'm sitting there, you know, laying on my bed, and I can, you know, my great great grandkids, Put the put the you know the Mac on my bed and I play a video while Veronica lays next to me and we can we can watch videos like this or we can watch videos like you know when we were in Disneyland and where we went to Dubai and the Maldives and we've been traveling we've eating all this good food and we've been on this life journey like you can leave memories like it is documented memories of my life and 
I believe that I live a beautiful life. You know, I got the best significant other anybody could ask for. You know, I've been very blessed and privileged in life to do a lot of things that most people don't have the ability to do. And I've also been in a situation where it wasn't always like that. It was not always like that for us. And, you know, our journey has been such an amazing journey. And to see, to even now, with these two years, to be able to go back and look at some of our footage, you know, if it's us going places or doing things, it brings a smile. Like, I, my soul smiles watching us do stuff two years ago. And it's not just like a picture where like, hey, look, here I am and here's the background. It's like where you were at, how you felt about being there, what was happening in your environment, you know, like who you were with, what were you eating, who were the people that you met. It is the best way to document life, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. And so the first video we ever put up, we were like, okay, let's just put this up, you know, let's see how this goes. And I mean, I don't know if I speak for you, but I fell in love with it. I remember watching that video like 10 times and it made me laugh so hard because you don't know how goofy you are until you watch yourself live. You know, you don't know how good of a time you have until you can go back and relive it. You don't know how hard you laugh until your, you know, your videos are playing in the background and you can hear yourself chuckling about something, man. And through this journey of YouTube, we have, I, we have built a family. Like, you know, I know that you, you guys are the citizens, but like, you guys are family. Like, I know so much about so many of you. And I feel like, I feel like you guys are extended family members of mine, like people that we've been knowing for years. And it's just like, you know, it's like you finally get to, to meet people that you've already been knowing for like your, you know, for so long. And I feel like that's the beauty of something like this. Like when I was in elementary school, we had something called pen pals. And I'll never forget that my pen pal was in like Taiwan. And I ne like, we used to get notes and it was like every month. But like the funny thing is, you guys are like my pen pal. I get your notes every vlog. I get your comments and respond. And like this is, to me, this has been one of the best experiences like of life, you know? Um, I'm trying to think. I had no idea what YouTube was. Dustin got the video link when he was at work. And I think he just started watching and watching it. And then somebody sent him a link of Andrea's Choice. That's the first YouTube video I ever watched was Andrea's Choice. And just like him, I was like, what? Um, and for me, it was hair videos that got me first. I mean, like, to the point that I literally cut my hair off because of YouTube. I'm not joking. And that is a whole other story time, and it's a doozy. Um, she was bald, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I never, like, I remember, like, when I first started watching it, I never really imagined myself doing it i just liked watching it so so much so um when dustin first brought up us having a channel i was like no <laughs> no i'm not gonna go on the, the internet no um but then i started thinking about it and it wasn't until we that we went to europe we went to london and uh paris, paris. that i was like man like Dude, maybe we, maybe there is something to this. And then we kind of like talked about it and talked about it and talked about it until finally, like he said, one day we just did it. And, um, you know, I still have my, I still had my reservations. And I mean, and to this day, I still have my reservations about, you know, living my life partially on online. Um, but when you meet people, like he was saying that, you don't even know how you touch their lives and they can connect with you and you can connect with them. There is something that I can't even describe about that. And I feel like for me and Dustin, like there aren't a lot of positive black couples that you can see in the public eye that don't have some crazy drama. And when I tell you like, we do not live a dramatic life where we don't fight. Like that is just so not our life. And we've been together for a really long time. I hope that someone can look up to that because I think it's important. Like I'm a black girl. I think it's important for younger black women to 
see somebody in a relationship that's not crazy um you know i think it's important for people to see young people traveling the world you know because you should travel you should leave where you're from and get out in the world i think it's important for people to see us experience different cultures through food um it's so, it's so important you know you have to like expand your horizon so for me that's my hope that that we can inspire people on such a different level and connect with them personally like i something that you guys don't know is like i really struggle with body image and how i look and like you know i hear i know you guys hear us say like oh my god we want to lose weight and you look at me and you're like dude you're already skinny but i don't like when i look at myself <laughs> Um, so it's really encouraging for me to like like live out this struggle online and then have other people like girl I'm in the same boat, you know, it's just I don't I can't describe it, right? Oh yeah, Veronica's the new modern-day Claire Huxtable. No, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> But she's right man, and, and you know, it's all about inspiration motivation and positivity, you know, so if you guys feel any inspiration if you guys feel inspired by these videos if you guys feel motivated by these videos if you feel like this is something positive and we bring positivity to your life even if it's for 10 15 minutes a day you know go ahead hit that thumbs up button go ahead and subscribe go ahead and make sure that you leave a comment and let us know man because these are the things that keep us motivated guys all right well, so that's our first story time story so time you guys want to see definitely leave it below in the comments and just I know we keep saying we have a lot of good stuff coming, but we really do. It's I just promise. It's a process getting it set up and organized and all that, but it's coming. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, wait. Comment, share, share and like, and <laughs> subscribe to the best family on the tube, guys. And, and until tomorrow, peace. And if you guys are wondering why we're so like glowed up and light right now, it's because look at this intimate setting we have for you guys. Fire time, hey! We out here by the fire, cuz. Me and Mrs. Huxtable, woohoo! Hey, twerk, twerk, molly, molly. Listen, guys, after the, that whole positive imagery, I apologize about that. Um, anyways, much love, guys. Peace.